just about every week, sometimes multiple times a week. We hear about a scam or someone being targeted, and usually it's seniors. And that's why a prevention workshop was held in Chico today, offering tips on how to avoid becoming a victim. Action News Now reporter Alyssa Deach has more. Senior citizens are the most highly targeted group for scams, and it's no different here in the North State, with the IRS scam making its way here. You know, the phone calls that seniors get uh, in the middle of the day, like the IRS scam that recently has come up, um, I was a victim, basically. You know, I thank God I stopped it. And the way High Cap Manager Tatiana Facio stopped the scam is because she knows the federal government will never call you. You will never get valid and true information from a cold call. It's always a scam. The main takeaways from the workshop, never under any circumstance give out your personal information. Don't even confirm your first name. And if you think a legitimate business is calling you, don't be afraid to hang up the phone, look up the official phone number in the phone book or on their official website and call back the number you found. And lastly, scrutinize all your finances and charges. Be a sleuth. Try and get that name and phone number from that individual calling. Many seniors have um, caller ID on their telephone and just jot it down. Jot down the time and date and who spoke with you. And then call HICAP because we have ways, backdoor ways, to report that. Reporting in Chico for Action News Now, I'm Alyssa Deach. Those who work with the elderly are expecting a slew of new scams to surface with open enrollment for Medicare. The experts say you should always report any suspicious activity to local law enforcement.